Welcome to Trans Euro Trail Section 3 here in Finland during the winter time. Oh shit! <laughs> so slippery sometimes because uh, it's been quite cold over the last uh, couple of weeks and today is plus two, I guess. So the snow is really un unpredictable. But yeah, I thought I would take you along with me. Uh, let's see how this track is in the winter time and uh, see how far we can get to. And maybe talk a little bit about the little Honda and uh, what my plans are for the next videos and uh, actually the next ser series of travel videos. And what's next to the channel is that I'm gonna start a new trip. I just had a feeling that the last trip was a little bit shorter than I was uh, originally planning to do. So I felt like I'm gonna just leave again. But now I have a little bit of a different setup. I'm taking this Honda with me, but I'm not actually traveling with the Honda. I bought a car that can fit both of us and I can actually sleep in the car so I can ride all the trans euro trails all over Europe and make videos over the next few months so if you want to see those videos just subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll be making a lot of content with this little Honda all across Europe oh shit, crap it's so slippery and I do have some plans to go to Bulgaria. <laughs> All these trails are really fun, even in the winter time. This is actually the section that I did myself a couple years ago, maybe one and a half years ago. And during summertime, this is quite sandy in places. I like it, I like it a lot. I just, I'm taking it a little bit chill because uh, the snow is really unpredictable now that it's wet and heavy. It can just throw me in those trees, so I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm actually trying to ride this bike in. It's the last 200 kilometers before I reach a thousand kilometers. And I have a service appointment for tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to get as close to that thousand if I as I can today and when I do get that service after that I can really open up the bike let's see how far we can get today at least Sikajoki but I would prefer to go to Lumiyoki as well so that's gonna take me uh, maybe an hour Just go very slow because the, the dog, is, dog is gonna get scared. <laughs> it's a fun road, really fun. After Sikajoki that is coming up ahead, I don't remember anything. I the last time I was there is maybe two years ago. So we'll see how it looks in the winter. Oh yeah, I remember this place. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to ride because uh, the grooves are so deep and the side walls are just hard ice. Am I in the track anymore even? Maybe my GPS is just crapping up because looks like I'm not on the track anymore but this is the Trans Euro Trail so it's just the GPS doesn't have an idea where I am Just trying to stay upright 
Just riding in this very narrow groove is uh, tricky. Oh, shit. oh crap, that's what happens. there this is actually the probably the hardest section to navigate usually because the GPS has no idea where you are I don't have any mapping right at this moment so this is a section from Siikajoki to Lumijoki here in Finland and uh, I've never driven this in the winter time, but I've made this track in the summertime like two years ago. It's nice. It's a really nice off-road ride in the summertime. There's a lot of sandy spots and uh, tricky bits, but I've no idea if I can even do this in the winter. If that's the right direction, or I have to look at the map because I have just has no idea where I am. Well, let's let's just ride it straight and. Uh, hope that we are gonna go through oh shit my leg got stuck on a tree <sighs> luckily it gave out oh shit a second time god shit oh. oh okay let's take a break here is the bike actually parked itself <laughs> let's see how deep it is oh it's not too bad but that's a nice picture, I guess. Maybe an Instagram shot. Yeah. Look at these forests. It's just really quiet. I can just about hear the wind whistling in the trees. A nice place to take a break. As you can see, you don't need a kickstand in Finland. At this time of year, you can just hop off the bike and it's gonna stay there just fine. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And uh, the second thing you don't need, you don't need water in this one because it's gonna freeze. So you can't drink it. But what you can do is just get off the track a little bit so that nobody's pissing where you drink. So just find a spot with the uh, Bit of clean snow. Mmm. If you want find yellow snow, there's special vitamins in it. If you eat it, you will get really strong. But I'm already strong, so I'm just gonna eat the white one. It's really good. Of course, there's always a possibility that there's some reindeer shit in this, but it's good for you makes you really wise up here and really hard down there you kind of have to eat a lot to get any real fluids I don't have any water with me but there's snow everywhere so it's fine that's the finished ice cream oh brain freeze 
really cold. Okay, this is a bit, a bit more snowy, this track. But let's continue on and try to get somewhere before dark. Uh, it's a bit stuck. Yeah, just not going anywhere. Uh. Uh. Come on! Uh. Come on, you little Honda. Yeah, just go. Uh. Yeah, the snow is so heavy, it gets really stuck easily. Come on now, baby. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> you can feel the rear end is heavy. There's so much snow on the, on the tire. Yeah, no wonder. <laughs> That's a lot of snow. Yeah, no wonder I feel it. <laughs> Look at the rear one. It's so full. Oh, come on. Let's let's take it off. Let's take it off. There's a few kilos here probably. Especially now that the snow is wet, it's really heavy. I bet you don't have this problem in most places. Ugh. Yeah, now it feels normal. I've never seen this. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. Let's see what it says. Yeah, you can't go here. It's a work site, so you, we can't enter. Looks interesting. So we're supposed to go here. I hate driving in these tractor grooves. Oh, it's so deep. <sighs> oh, now I took a wrong turn. Crap. Oh, that's... That's deep. Oh crap, that's really deep. <sighs> I'm thinking I can't go there. That's probably as deep as I want to get it with this. Because I'm alone, makes things really tricky. I don't want to get stuck too much. So you can see it's pretty deep. It's just a snowmobile truck up there so it's probably like half a meter at least of snow and it's really wet it's like heavy heavy snow <sighs> it was fun though i'm probably gonna just turn back and do the same track Oh shit, this is a workout. Even though it's quite a light bike, it's still a heavy bike nonetheless. Shit. God. Oh. I'm so done. I just got it so stuck there. <sighs> the road is right there, but it's still, still so stuck here, <sighs> quite badly. Okay, let's get it up. <sighs> Come on, beast! <sighs> it's hard. <sighs> if I can't get traction through my legs. Ah, crap. Ah, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> ah, 
maybe I should buy that KTM. It's too heavy. Too heavy even this bike here. Oh, f you. Turn you fucker. Oh, f One more. One more. Come on! Oh, fuck. God it! God it! Fun times. <laughs> oh crap. Oh shit. Oh, oh f I hate this snow. Oh. Very happy that I'm not here with the Tenere. I would be screwed. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Took me like half an hour. At least that's what it feels like. Okay, now I'm gonna get home. So bye. <laughs>